also expressed our concern about the PRC's unfair trade practices and the potential consequences of industrial overcapacity for global and U.S. markets, especially in a number of key uh, industries that will drive the 21st century economy, like solar panels, uh, electric vehicles, and the batteries that power them. Given the various doubts, is China's new energy progress a symptom of overcapacity or a response to market demand? The Beijing Auto Show, which opened its doors on April 25th, delivered a resounding answer. With over 1,500 participating companies, 278 new energy vehicle models, and 117 global premieres, the event showcased the latest trends in automobile development within China and around the world. The new energy models sold like hotcakes. Xiaomi cars, for example, hit around 75,600 pre-sales and over 5,700 actual deliveries within the first 28 days of release. What's propelling the growth of China's new energy industry? An incredibly competitive environment is accelerating China's automotive industry. While car manufacturers in other countries usually update a vehicle every two to three years followed by a major redesign, in China, updates happen every five to six months. Moreover, companies market these vehicles at a lower price than the upcoming models. And this is where kind of foreign automakers, because of that legacy, they can't keep up. A little bit like Tesla. They're new, they don't have the burden of history. They don't have old factories to, or not so many old factories to uh, reconfigure. And they have a very fast pace of development. Does a surge in exported goods mean overproduction? China boasts the most developed and complete supply chain for new energy vehicles globally, allowing automakers to start production right from sourcing components. Giants like Tesla from the U.S. and various German automakers have set up factories in China, producing vehicles for the worldwide market right from Chinese soil. In 2023 alone, Tesla's global delivery hit 1.8 million vehicles. Notably, out of these, 947,000 were produced at the Shanghai Gigafactory, highlighting China's central role in fulfilling global automotive demand. Now are often saying that the Americans and the, and the Europeans produce cars that have inferior software and don't use the latest chip and are not as much uh, on the cutting edge. More and more young people around the world are choosing Chinese-made new energy vehicles. Exports of these vehicles hit a record 1.23 million units in 2023. Right now in Beijing Auto Show, we're launching the all-electric G. So now all of our brands will be electric. So I think we're perfectly set. For well, China, we have decided on a clear target picture 2030. Our aim is to remain the strongest international car manufacturer in China. Since 2010, more, more, more than 100 billion renminbi, you know, and we continue to, to make further investments. The International Energy Agency's Global EV Outlook 2024 report projects annual global sales of new energy vehicles to reach 17 million units and forecasts a decade of robust growth in electric car sales.